Hi there, um, I'm wanting to do a little quick talk on the Divine Source. You know, everything comes from a source, you know, um, I call it Divine Consciousness. And, um, you know, everything, you know, on this journey I, I'm on, you know, I had this spiritual awakening at the age of 24. And, you know, you know, on it, basically everything became perfect. And more and more, you know, as I'm going on, I, I witness this. And the reason it's all perfect is because the divine, this source, um, is every street corner. So if it's every street corner and it made everything and, and, and everything is from that, then it knows that it, this is why it knows the best outcome for everyone, you see. This is why. And of course, you know, this awakening I had, you know, um, I want to add that, you know, and I, I, do, I add this on my videos, that anyone can do it at any moment. Um, you know, and how you access this, what I'm accessing, everything's within, you see. Um, you've got to authentically look at everything as one. Everything is you. It, it sounds easy in theory, you see, but doing it is a different thing. Um, you've got to, you know, when someone annoys you, you've got to understand that that is your ego. That is, when you're when you're annoyed with something, that is, um, so you've got two egos. You've got a conscious ego that you're aware of, but then you've got an unconscious ego. The unconscious ego is that part of you that responds to things or gets frustrated. That's that part. And I still do it myself. But um, the more you're, you're saying, okay, this is about ego, the more you're exposing it. And the more you're healing that part. Because the ego just works on fear, you see. It just works on fear. So that's what the past all about. This is how you ascend and heal. By facing everything. Facing yourself, basically. That's what you're doing. It's law of oneness is how you ascend and, and awaken. Anyone can do it. You know, and this is why I talk about um, the system. And, and, and through this awakening, I've been able to work out things. Very simple, and I, and, I've, and I look around me and I think, this is all they've done. All the Because the, the divinity um, thing is a mindset. That, that, um, but all you do, all the system done was to get you out of that mindset, was change your mindset. This is why I talk about counterintelligence. I get relentless information on that, because counterintelligence at its deepest level is basically the creative consciousness. This is how I'm, I, I get so relentless, um, relentless information. And basically, all you've got to do to get someone out of their divinity is everything comes in your perception. So all they did was basically feed perceptions and things and stuff to you, and that builds perception, and that builds thinking. So this is how you get someone out of their divinity. But the awakening, the global awakening, is um, spoiling the party, you could say. That is, that is the spoiling the party. Now I think either this maybe the system didn't know about the awakening, or maybe they were just hopeful that it would be over. It wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be that strong, or the, but they're really hoping there. If they did know about it, I imagine it would have been. If it were me, you know, I'd be, I'd be living in fear. If if you understand what the divine is and that that made you, you know, if you know, because the divine makes everything. Everything comes from a source, right? It's like what I was saying the other day in my video, and I talk about it a lot, that everything is one thing. It's all oneness. Um, it's, and it's like some I always say, life manifestation is just oneness and love. It's just, it's the love from this oneness power of which is, is life. It's just, it's just a love power, but it's, 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 it's perceiving itself, you see, because everything is one self. And everything's just a reflection of that thing. And that leads me to talk about, um, you know, people's perceptions. It's like when I talk, I understand that when I talk, people will pick up me based on how they feel about themselves. So I can say the best things in the world. I can say great information and, and stuff like that, but people will feel towards me um, a reflection of how they feel about themselves. And if you look at it logically, that's the way it's going to be. You know, you can only perceive things in reality based on how you feel towards yourself. So when I say reflections, it's a, it's a feelings. Everything's feelings. Um, and this is why you have lives. 
it's different feelings. Your records and, and history is not so much physical happenings. Nothing is. When, you, uh, when you're ascending and awakening, you're realizing that everything is just feeling. Everything is just vibrational awareness. Um, and this is when I talk, when I talk about the, this non-existence love. Because this love that, that, that manifests things is so deep that it's like it doesn't exist. It's, it, and so it is, because, this is because it isn't. This is how deep, this is how deep the love is. So it's actually um, nothingness. And, that, that, and as soon as you have nothing, you have the reflector of nothing, you have the one. And that's when you have form or a duel, or a separation too. It's like um, what I said yesterday on the internet, I said that within a cup, there's, there's emptiness, but there's also fullness. There's always a separation within a one, you see. There's always a separation within the one, so this is how you have infinite individuality and experiences and separation and duality going on. Um, and, you know, explaining this just now, you know, there was a time when I couldn't, the, some, some of this information, so I received this as feelings and, and consciousness. Like, uh, you know, I'm picking up something, I'm, I'm perceiving something, but I'm not wording it yet. The wording comes later. The wording comes later. Because remember, I'm dealing with a, the divine consciousness, but you're dealing with a human mind. So that's, so what's happening is my human mind is ascending and aligning with the, this heart space, which is the divine consciousness. So basically what you're doing there is you're ascending to divine intellect. Um, and also this is ascending you to infinite abundance, which is our natural state. So the global awakening, I'll end on this note, that's what this global awakening is about. It's about ascending us to our natural divinity, divine intellect, which ultimately is infinite abundance. That's our natural state, a state of not wanting, not chasing, but attracting infinite abundance. Letting go of what you're chasing and you attract everything. But anyway, I think I'll just end it there. Um, I've got a few things out there in a short space of time. Um, if you're watching, you're meant to watch it. Everything is or ordered and arranged by the Divine Source. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.